When looking for solar eclipse glasses, it is crucial to prioritize safety and quality. Look for glasses that meet the ISO International Safety Standard for direct viewing of the sun. This certification ensures that the glasses have been tested and certified for safe solar viewing. Check the manufacturer's information on the glasses. It should include their name and address, along with the ISO certification number. If this information is not provided or seems dubious, it is best to avoid using those glasses. Also, did you know that solar eclipse glasses have a limited lifespan, typically about 3 years? If the glasses are older than that, or if the manufacturing date is unclear, it is safe to avoid using them. Always look for glasses that are comfortable to wear and provide a secure fit over your eyes. And here is how to exactly use solar eclipse glasses to best experience the solar eclipse on April 8, 2024. Phase 1. Glasses on. This is partial eclipse where the sun's disk is partially blocked by the moon. In most locations, this will last over an hour. Phase 2. Glasses on. This is so-called diamond ring. Sunlight streaming through the moon's valleys creates a single bright flash of light. This marks the last few seconds before totality. Phase 3. Glasses on. This is called Bailey's Beads. For a few moments, low-lying valleys on the moon's edge allow sunlight to pass through. And finally, phase 4. Glasses off. This is the totality, the most exciting part of the solar eclipse. This is where the moon completely covers the disk of the sun, and this can only be seen in the path of totality, and will last up to four and a half minutes. This is the only phase where you can remove your solar eclipse glasses. Do not remove your solar eclipse glasses if you are outside the totality path. Phase 5. Final stages. Glasses back on here. Here another diamond ring. A crescent shape begins to peek out from behind the moon. As the diamond ring reappears, wear your eclipse glasses or use an indirect viewing method. Hey, thanks for watching. If you find this video helpful, please consider hitting that like button and also consider subscribing to my channel. Thanks again and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.